Good morning, and thank you very much. I'm Sean McCowan, and I'm here with my brother, Kaylin, and Aaron was our sister. On behalf of Aaron's family and many, many friends, we are all very, very happy that an arrest has obviously been made in the vicious murders of Aaron and Susan Tice. The last few days have brought, brought around a full spectrum of emotions, as you can imagine, and this is a day that I and we have been waiting almost an entire lifetime. In a sense, there's a real relief that someone's been arrested, yet it also brings back so many memories of Erin and her brutal, senseless murder. Erin was our sister, she was a daughter, and she was an amazing friend to everyone around her. She had a magnetic personality, was a natural beauty, and was always full of life and looking for her next adventure and bringing people together. At the age of 22, she had her whole life ahead of her before she was killed five days before Christmas. She'd never had a chance to be an aunt to her four nieces and three nephews. She never had a chance to live her life, never get married, never be a mother, and never had a chance to see what could have been. It was an incredible life to be lived that was taken away from her and the rest of us. We will always wonder what could have been and miss her presence and miss growing old with her. The rest finally brings an answer for all of us to almost 39 years of asking who. Our mom, Anna, passed away two years ago, and she would have been so relieved that there had been an arrest, and so happy that someone will finally face justice after being anonymous for 39 years. Aaron's murder stayed with her, and it was very, very, very difficult for her to talk about it. She lost only her only daughter, and she missed Aaron every day. It finally puts a name and a face to someone who, for all of us, has been a ghost. It's truly incredible we are here today. I don't want to say that any of us ever gave up hope. For almost over, almost over four decades, we began to wonder if we would ever get to this resolution. We're so thankful that technology caught up and provided the incredible detectives at TPS a new set of clues and ultimately an answer. We cannot thank the detectives at Cold Case enough. We are many thanks to so many over the years, and I'm sure I'm missing some, but Rocky Cleveland, Vaughn O'Toole, Ray Zarb, Greg Groves, Pitts, David Gracie, Bob Wilkinson, Steve Ryan, and of course, Stacy Gallant, Andrew Groves, Steve Smith, who I owe special thanks to for taking my calls and answering my questions, and every time saying, we just need more time. Until just a few days ago when I received the best call I've ever received. You all never gave up on trying to solve this case, and we are grateful beyond anything we can ever express. I'd also like to thank all the people and techs at Parabon Labs and Authram for their dedication in allowing the science to help resolve these painful chapters in our lives. As well, many thanks to all the journalists we've spoken to over the years who helped, who kelp, who helped keep Aaron's case present and relevant. Aaron and Susan are finally getting their day.